Bill O'Reilly here, Friday, October 2nd, 2020. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Here's what's happening today in America. Donald Trump and Joe Biden getting heated in Cleveland, as you know, during the first debate. The chaotic event was watched by about 70 million people in the USA and millions of others all over the world online. Now, very few people were happy with the debate because it was a cacophony of chaos. How about that for a phrase? A cacophony of chaos. And now the fallout begins. Nationally, Joe Biden leads Donald Trump in the polls by from three to nine points, according to Real Clear Politics. The president's approval rating currently hovering just below 45 percent. Things are much closer in the states that will ultimately decide who wins. Mr. Trump is up in Georgia and North Carolina. Mr. Biden maintaining a slight lead in Pennsylvania and Arizona. The two are essentially tied in Ohio, Florida, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Minnesota. The polls go back and forth. Roughly 187 electoral college votes now considered toss-ups. It's still unclear whether Tuesday night's debate or the next two contests will make a big dent in how people see both candidates. Recent survey from the Wall Street Journal says 85% of Americans have already made up their minds. 70% say the debates will have little impact on their opinion. And about 10% say the expositions don't matter at all. According to voters, the most pressing challenges facing the nation remain the pandemic and the economic recovery. But a new issue now ranked third most important the Supreme Court. A majority of Republicans backed the president's pick to replace Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Nine in 10 Democrats say no way to judge Amy Coney Barrett. But she will be confirmed. And you saw that when Joe Biden was asked about her on Tuesday. Next up, the vice presidential debate in Salt Lake City on October 7th, then the second Trump-Biden debate, Miami, October 15th. Let's hope those chat fests are a bit more instructive. The American people need to know what's on the line in the November 3rd election. It is the most important election in my lifetime. In a moment, listeners, sound off. We'll be right back. How bad is your back, knee, or neck pain? Mine was pretty bad. I played four sports when I was younger, and uh, it's catching up with me now. I tried a lot of stuff to manage the pain. Ointments, pain relievers, fish oil, nothing worked. So a doctor friend of mine recommended Omega XL, and here's why. The underlying cause of painful, achy joints and muscles is inflammation. The key to knock down inflammation before it causes damage is backed by 35 years of research. And that's what Omega XL does. The doctor also says, quote, I can't write any prescription that comes close to what Omega XL accomplishes. She was right. So if you're suffering with painful, achy joints and muscles, stop wasting money and switch to Omega XL. Order Omega XL now and get a second bottle free. Visit OmegaXL.com slash Bill, OmegaXL.com slash Bill, or you can call 800-844-4888, 800-844-4888. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. Listeners, sound off. We do this every Friday. You can send me an email, Bill at BillOReilly.com, Bill at BillOReilly.com. We'd like to hear from you. So let's uh, take a letter from Joseph, who is in Charleston, West Virginia. Bill, do you still believe that this was the most important debate for the election? Do you still think most Americans have made up their minds? Uh, Yes, as we just gave you the stats, Joseph. Um, But there are about 12, 15 percent of people who could change their minds, and that will decide. So the second debate, Donald Trump, now the pressure's on him. The first debate, the pressure was on Joe Biden to see if he was cogent. He was. Now the second debate, the pressure will be on the president to see if he can behave 
and get a clearer message across. John Springfield, Missouri. Over the weekend, I heard that the Supreme Court nominee, Amy Coney Barrett, will endure even worse attacks than Justice Kavanaugh did. Do you agree, Bill? No. I think if you watch Joe Biden's demeanor when he was asked about Judge Barrett in the first debate, he got off that subject real fast. I don't think the Democratic Party is going to attack her. She's a very accomplished and well-respected woman. It's not like they can come up with somebody who will accuse her of bad behavior as they did with Justice Kavanaugh without, of course, any backup at all. So the Democratic Party has to be very careful here. You'll hear the same thing over and over again. Judge Barrett will deny people health care and Judge Barrett will deny women reproductive rights over and over and over. And of course, the judge is going to have her answers to that. So I don't expect her to be annihilated like Brett Kavanaugh was. Jacqueline Mission Viejo, California. Why can't the writers of the New York Times article on President Trump's personal taxes be arrested for receiving stolen property? Because they didn't receive it, Jacqueline. The way this game works is that someone who had a copy of the president's tax return, and I think I know who it is, let the New York Times reporters, three of them, see it, maybe photograph it surreptitiously, so the person probably left the room, so that the reporters don't have anything physical because it is a felony to leak a person's tax returns. Jim Kutch, Aptos, California. I have just finished reading Killing Crazy Horse. Loved it. If your books had been available when I was in school, I would have been a much better history student. Well, I appreciate that, Jim. Killing Crazy Horse is an enormous success. If you want to know about your country and how we got from Boston to Los Angeles, please read Killing Crazy Horse. I'm Bill O'Reilly. I proved that message by putting it together. Please go to BillOReilly.com for honest coverage. In a moment, something you might not know. If you have been using your credit card lately to make ends meet, all of that debt can add up, especially with interest rates as high as 19%. Your best bet, consolidate the debt into one low-interest credit card consolidation loan from my friends at Lightstream. Lightstream's fixed-rate credit card consolidation loan started 5.95% APR with auto pay and excellent credit. Get a loan custom-made to meet your needs from $5,000 to $100,000 with absolutely no fees. The process is quick, easy, and you can get your money almost instantly. My listeners can save even more with an additional interest rate discount. The only way to get that discount is to go to lightstream.com slash bill. That's L-I-G-H-T-S-T-R-E-A-M dot com slash bill. Subject to credit approval, rate includes 0.50 auto pay discount. Lowest rate requires excellent credit. Terms and conditions apply. Offers are subject to change. Visit lightstream.com slash bill for more information. Now the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. On this day in 1959, a strange new television program hit the airwaves, a show described by censors as too scary for the average viewer. It was called The Twilight Zone. The creepy series was created by a young screenwriter named Rod Serling to confront American racism and segregation at the time. Mr. Serling initially wanted to write a TV special based on the murder of Emmett Till, an African-American boy from Chicago who was abducted, beaten, and shot to death while visiting family in Mississippi. An all-white jury ultimately acquitted the two killers, and justice was not served. I write about Mr. Till extensively in my book, Killing Kennedy. Rod Serling wrote the script, but the network said no way, afraid the content would alienate many viewers, especially in the South. Rod's response? 
The Twilight Zone, a series centered around the social fears of the 1960s, bigotry, nuclear weapons, communism, the rise of technology, and so on. He hosted the program for five seasons between 1959 and 1964. The Twilight Zone would terrify 10 million viewers every week. A list of famous actors appeared on the program. William Shatner, Robert Redford, Burgess Meredith, Don Rickles, Carol Burnett, Robert Duvall, Dennis Hopper. The Twilight Zone franchise would ultimately include two movies, three spin-off shows, four video games, and two dozen books. The program even has its own attraction, the Tower of Terror, at Disney World. Mr. Serling would never get to see the ride. He died at age 50 in 1975 from a heart attack. He smoked four packs of cigarettes each day. That's five an hour. His heart could not take it. And here's something else you might not know. The Twilight Zone was one of the only shows in American history that encouraged viewers to submit scripts. More than 14,000 fans sent ideas to Rod Serling each year. According to producers, Rod read about 500 scripts. He told his team only two of them were, quote, any good, and none of the viewer scripts were ever made. Back after this. There are thousands of animals abandoned in the wilderness that need our help. I partnered up with Delta Rescue, the largest no-kill care-for-life animal sanctuary in the world. Founded by actor Leo Grillo, who left Hollywood to devote his life to saving abandoned animals, Delta Animal Sanctuary is a -a one-of-a-kind rescue. They are staffed by trained attendants who look after each animal, providing them with water, treats, toys, and affection. Please support Delta Rescue and put your legacy to work. Each life-saving gift helps Delta fulfill their mandate to rescue and care for animals. So please request a free estate planning package at deltarescue.org forward slash bill. For a limited time, you can watch The Rescuer. It's free only at deltarescue.org forward slash bill. The Rescuer is an award-winning documentary about Grillo's two-year rescue of a family of 21 dogs abandoned in the wilderness. DeltaRescue.org forward slash Bill. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you.